people of the internet my name is Lucanne and welcome to my channel today we have something really really excited like I cannot express my excitement right now today we are gonna be talking about this new eyeshadow palette I got I got this for my birthday even though my birthday was like five months ago I got this from my best friend she gifted this as a present to me and I absolutely love it I haven't used it since I got it I got it a couple weeks ago and um, I just did this look with it and I really 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 like it I hope you guys do too and I'm just gonna talk about if this palette is the real deal if you should get it yes or no the quality of the eyeshadows everything I like everything I don't like and yeah, so if you guys want to know what I think about this palette, then make sure to keep on watching. First, I want to talk about who's Soph, this name that you see on this box. Soph is a YouTuber and she has a channel called Soph Does Nails. Uh, she doesn't actually do nails. She does mostly beauty and makeup related videos and I love her. I love her videos. I think she's such a sweet and down to earth girl and I love that she uses a lot of affordable makeup. She's also one of the ambassadors for Makeup Revolution so she tests a lot of their items and that's also how she got to making one of these palettes with them. Let's finally get on to this uh, tutorial, shall we? So I am so excited. This is the first time that I'm gonna be opening it. So this is my real first impression. I haven't, I haven't touched this thing since I've got it from my best friend. So let's open it if I can. Yeah, got it. It's this beautiful box with a watercolor and then a uh, kind of like rose gold sheen on it. And it has the colors in the back. Um, here are all the colors. And it has some more information from everything in it. And as you guys already know, it's from Makeup Revolution because Soph is one of their ambassadors. And oh, it's, 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 it's just this cream color. And then again, the rose gold lettering. So this is what it looks like inside. It has this mega mirror. Like literally, this is like the size of my face. It is ginormous. And then it has all these beautiful shades and it has this plastic in front of it. And I'm probably gonna lose this, but it has all the names of um, the colors. And oh my God, they are gorgeous. And the pans are actually bigger than I expected. I expected the pan to be smaller. I expected this whole palette to actually be smaller, but this is like quite large. This is like the size of my face. So it's definitely not small. And um, let's get into this palette, shall we? First to set my eyes, I'm just gonna grab a normal blending brush and grab the shade Pancakes and put that all over my eye. Like this is the shade that I'm actually most excited for. Um, Soph is quite known for her kind of mauve tones. So I'm really excited to see this shade Tiramisu, which is kind of like a brown, but with a little like tint of purple to it. So I really want to use that. I'm grabbing this big Real Techniques blending brush and I'm just swirling that in Tiramisu and applying that in my crease. This is a lot more pigmented than I expected. I just swirled my brush in there expecting Makeup Revolution quality where you just have to kind of squirrel, apply, swirl, apply, but you still get a really nice buildup. But this, this is like pigment in the first second already. Like I just dabbed my brush in it and I get like full blown pigment. These um, eyeshadow do feel like different quality than uh, the normal Makeup Revolution eyeshadows. I feel like the normal Makeup Revolution's eyeshadows are um, powdery and a little bit less pigmented. By that I mean that they're very easy to apply, they're very easy to blend because they are so light and powdery. But that's why they also are less pigmented because it feels like just a lot of the pigment flies off your face. These are a lot more pigmented but I feel like they're a little bit harder almost um, in the shadow itself. This color is gorgeous. I know that this is going to be my new go-to color. The one color that has been calling my name is this hot pink. It is absolutely stunning and it's called Strawberry Sweets and it's just a really nice bright pink and I'm just going to put that in my outer corner and through the crease. Oh, look at that pink. Look at the beautiful pink. But I've been watching Soph's channel for a while and I'm so proud of her that she she made this palette and when I first saw the palette I already knew I was gonna love it because I feel lately like all the palettes are just warm tones, warm brownie oranges and I don't like that like you can make one or two looks with that but 
Where is the variation? So I love this palette because you have so many different tones to play with. You can play with pinks, there's green, there's blue, there's purple, there's copper, there's orange, there's browns, like there's everything, every color that you can imagine. It's small enough to take with you. It actually kind of reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill palette, but then just a lot smaller. And I like that because it's more portable. Now I'm gonna take a small tapered blender brush and I'm gonna grab this darker, more muted reddish pink. And it's called Danger. So that's that's feisty right there. I'm just gonna Tap a little bit on my brush and just sweep that on the very outer corners It's a lot more red than I thought I thought it was gonna have more of a burgundy undertone, but it has a lot more of a fiery red undertone with these eyeshadows, they're way more pigmented than I, than I thought they were going to be. So props to So for that. And props to her for keeping it a low price point. Because sometimes if you will try to change the formula with like companies, the price point of course goes up. But she kept it very, very low. So that makes it affordable for everyone. I'm debating if I want to go neutral on the eyelid. If I want to go for more of a subtle gold or if I want to go for this blazing purple. This purple is kind of calling out my name, but I'm not sure if it's going to be too much for this eye look or not. I think I'm going to go with my gut. I think I'm going to go for the wild purple. And it is called Mixed Berries. And it's just beautiful. Oh my God, look at that purple. It's so gorgeous. And I'm just going to apply that with a finger on my eyelid. So now I'm just going to blend that out. I feel so far that none of the sh shades are inconsistent. The mattes are so nice and buttery, and so are the shimmers. Sometimes you have it in Makeup Revolution palettes that they differ and that some shades are just not good and some are great. Uh, but so far I haven't come on a shade that I didn't like. I'm gonna grab this smaller Real Technique brush and I'm gonna go back to Tiramisu. Smoke out the edges of this eye. Going a little bit on the lash line too. Now apply a tiny bit more of that danger color to the outer edge to not make it seem like it's all one color. Smoke it a tiny bit into the lower lash line. For inner corner, I'm gonna use this light, beautiful, bright little shade called Fairy Lights. And I love it because in the background of So's video, she always does have fairy lights. And oh my god, this highlight is gorgeous. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and do my mascara. Now for lips, I'm thinking quite a nude lip. I know this is not part of the So tutorial thingy but I mean I'm not gonna go out the door without lipstick so I'm just gonna grab a nudish lipstick I think I'm gonna opt for the Libby stick in Aquarius from Kathleen Light's collection and I can't believe I'm only doing collabs on my face today but I am actually I just paired it with this purplish lip gloss from the Hema and this actually matches my eyes almost perfectly so I thought like I would create a nice monochrome look with uh, the Kathy Lights lipstick under it and then this over top and um, I don't know I just match <laughs> so this is the finished makeup look I wanted to tell you guys my final thoughts about this Soph palette and I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I think it really is the real deal. I can't think of anything bad. The quality of the eyeshadows is amazing. The, the variety of colors is amazing. Um, the price is amazing. So I mean these things should already make you want to buy it. It has a huge mirror, which I'm really thankful for. It's not too big or bulky, so it's nice to travel. Sophie's just a really nice girl, so this also feels better if, it, it's, if it's a person I like. And the only thing I would say is the packaging um, gets kind of dirty really easily because it is that light of a color. But I, I mean, you can just wipe that off, so it's not that big of a problem. So yeah. That was my review on these eyeshadows. I hope you like this look and I hope you have some better 
thoughts about if you want this palette yes or no and if you did like this video though make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys later so bye guys